Hey, ya uh, YouTubers, Taz Man here, feeling a lot better, uh, bringing you another episode of Regrowth, where my, or where we're bringing this cold, dead, desolate world back to life, one block at a time. And you might notice, I'm like, you'll you'll hear that ding a lot more often. Listen, ding, right? Um, so I was doing some testing. Because I had that, what is it, the Eldritch Eye or whatever. And I, what, basically, I don't know how scientific this is, but I, I took uh, an Eldritch Eye and I was like, okay, I'm going to see how many times I hear this little ding in, say, five minutes. So I took the time, listened to each time I ding, because every time I ding, one of these wands, I'll see it, see that little arrow on the yellow? I can't really. If I do this, nope. The yellow on the uh, one, the yellow tube, whatever it is, actually went up. So there you can see it right there. It was yellow, and there's another yellow, and there's another yellow. Uh, so anyway, I was uh, put these four wands in my in my inventory, and then uh, timed it to see how many times in five minutes, or I think it was five minutes, uh, I heard that little ding and it wasn't a lot and then i decided okay here's what i'm going to do i'm going to actually make another one of them and i made another one and the dinging actually wasn't it wasn't double but it was a bit faster and so then i went overboard <laughs> as you can see here i made a whole bunch of oh primal charms that's where are not the eldritch i think the Eldritch Eyes, that other thing. So yeah, I made a whole bunch of them, and believe it or not, it's actually filling it up. I mean, look, this wand is completely full, this wand's full, this wand just filled all the way up, and this wand is almost full. So if we go into our inventory, you can see that's 112, that's 50, that's 50, and this one is 25, and it only needs the yellow left. And that was after running around trying to get... Um, the different spawners and stuff. So the thing, now that I'm to the last one, the thing I'm not 100% sure of is, does it only go off like when it randomly chooses the yellow? Because it seemed like sometimes it would go a lot, and other times it would, you know, ding just here and there. And I figured it, when I made like, I ended up like making four and I'm like, okay, this is going a little bit faster. <laughs> and then I decided, you know what, I'm just going to go all out. We have lots and lots of resources. We have all the things down underneath here, all our little gardens that are all 10, 10, 10 and making their resources, you know, making everything really easy to make. So yeah, I went a little nuts and went ahead and made that and you'll see that you know, each time it dings, let's, let's see, ding for me, please. Right, it's not going to ding now. So you see, yeah, it just went up one more. And I'm sure, I, what I'm curious of is once my wand is completely full, do we still hear the ding? Which will be in a minute here, so... So anyway, let's jump into comments, and we'll just hear this pleasant little dinging as I read comments. Now, uh, we have several comments, and a really good point was made, which I've kind of confirmed, well, I've definitely confirmed with my actions, but I've actually kind of mentioned it myself. All right, so that one should be full now. 25, so we'll hear if we any, hear any dings. So first one was from... Uh, Gamer from Hell says, if you want to have a charged wand, you should build a wand recharge pedestal with uh, the compound recharge focus on top of it and place it near some nodes. It will recharge itself given enough viz in the nodes. And this kind of brings up a past topic that we've actually talked about a lot in some of our things. I'm not hearing it ding anymore. Um... So uh, that was that was great information, and then actually concluded uh, with some more things. Saying, uh, I think someone was saying you should make the Blaze Staff core uh, with Thomium caps because it either gives you a discount on passive uh, 
or passively re regenerates Ignis, which is the fire element, basically, uh, since it's fire type staff uh, core. And then says, and to take them off, you need to shift and use your bracket key. We'll, we'll get to that in just a second as well. And then finally says, edit, you forgot to say bye at the end, or did you just cut the video short? I didn't. My voice absolutely went to garbage, right? I mean, when I said bye, it, it, I tried to say it, but it did not come out <laughs> because my voice was not in good shape. So anyway, I did say that, but then I might have, because it kind of creaked or whatever, I might have uh, tried ending the video, but it, it wasn't there. In fact, it, it was so bad that for that whole week, that was the only video I recorded for last week. Uh, my Java, I already had uh, uh, a back-to-back. -back. I already had a couple uh, saved up. My Obsidian one I had saved up. There was no Solasta and there was no WoW videos released last week. So that's that's pretty rare for me not to release. Uh, oh, at least I released one video. Let's just go with that. Um, so then another game please said you forgot uh, you got a focus pouch as a quest reward. Check your knapsack. I did check my knapsack and then I went through all my different chests. I could not find it, but then I remembered I gotta switch where I am. Then I remembered I was tired, so I went and rested real quick. Um, I remembered that I actually didn't move everything that was over here <coughs> because my voice is a little squeaky. And look at that, I ended up finding a focus pouch, which now I don't have room for. I need a, so I'm not gonna lose that one. What I'm gonna do is, I know there's room in this guy. So I'm gonna take that focus pouch and put it here, which is where I put everything that was in my hot bar. Um, <coughs> and then I'm gonna re-grab this thing. Um, so, there we go. We now got our focus pouch. Now how it works, we'll, we'll get that all figured out. Um, then uh, another game please says change the focus key back to F. Now I think the reason I changed it from F, that was the wrong one, was because it said it was conflicting with something. But I'm fine with that because I keep forgetting that it is the um, left bracket. And where is, I think it's in MISC. Here we go. So we're gonna go ahead and change it back to F, but it is conflicting, but it must not matter. It's the mechanism armor mode switch and maybe others, I don't know. Um, oh, and change fluid mode. So maybe that doesn't matter, I don't know. Usually if I see something red, I think, oh, it probably needs to be switch to something that's not. So we'll, we'll change it back to F because F for focus, that's pretty easy, I almost hit the same quit. So there we go, it is now set back. We have our focus pouch. Um, and let's see, so we did that. Then another game please also said, uh, you could check your wireless system for lost items. Also consider putting the essence jars down in the worlds uh, in some type of order. They have icons that appear when you look at them and always wear the thaumaturge robes doing thaumcraft. Uh, consider making a spawner for viz drops to recharge your ones. Now I'm not 100% sure if this is the same thing because I did do a search for spawner. Go in here. I did a S P A W N E R, and I did see that we could actually make the skeleton spawner and the zombie spawner, which are kind of cool, and a wither spawner. Uh, and then there's also the saltpeter ore spawner, which I don't think we can actually make that. But I was kind of interested to see we can actually make these, which could be good for a mop farm if we want to do that. But I didn't see anything that said spawner for viz. And even doing viz itself, 
pulled up a boatload of stuff because you have vision but if I put a space in there we got these other things so what I'm wondering is if that viz is actually the same thing as do, 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 the one that uh, gamer from hell said uh, that said the wand recharge pedestal with the compound recharge focus because both those things actually do exist uh, what it was it the wand recharge wand recharge which is this guy right here and then it has the compound compound recharge focus which is this guy right here uh, and then put it near a super node or a uh, nodes that can can uh, passively recharge it would be really cool is if I could put all these primal charms in something and have that just constantly recharging like if I could pipe it out somehow I don't know that's a little cheaty but it's also really big also I noticed that some of these actually have like well are these Actually, it seems like it's random which one does it. Like this. You think you hear whispering, but maybe let... See, now I come back to it, and now it's not doing anything. Oh, please tell me this isn't causing warp. That would suck if all of a sudden I started getting all those warp guys from doing forbidden magics. Oh. Um, yeah, so I'm not sure why these are sometimes doing that, and then, like, there you go. Seems to be leaking. I don't know if that's bad. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll find out over time. Um, so anyway, there was that. Uh, also in that same comment, do, do, where was it? Also consider putting the essence shards down. Yes. Uh, they have icons that appear when you look at them. Uh, and always wear a thaumaturge draw. Oh, I already read that one. Consider making the spawner for viz drops to recharge your wands in your hot bar. See now that almost makes me think that there's something like this that it's not that pedestal because uh, that is something you put into the world and then you put your wand into it. This makes it sound like uh, a spawner for viz drops unless that is these things and uh, another game please is telling me to make that. Uh, recharge your wands in your hot bar Use blood magic to move the nodes uh, to build a super node. And then if you get distracted to do something besides one thing, I worry that help will be forgotten as you uh, do something unrelated. And this is the big one. This is the one thing that I agree 100%. I'm always saying, oh, wait, I think someone said this. And searching through YouTube comments is actually absolutely terrible so what I've done is I decided to create myself a vault in obsidian and if you've been watching my obsidian notes uh, video on TTRPGs you can use it for a lot more and in fact I am I actually created a vault that I'm keeping track of everything everyone's gonna tell me to do and I even have things to do and each one is its individual note and there's a tag on it that says to do and when I've completed it I change that tag to be completed and it will actually move it out of a list so I actually have it generating a list when I click on the folder so I can see everything that someone's told me I need to do and then when I actually mark it completed it will actually move it to a completed section uh, also I added another area called notes and then right now I have uh, five, four notes. Uh, one is blood magic, circle magic, thumbcraft, and witchery. And what I'm going to do in those is any tips and tricks you guys tell me, I'm going to put them in there. So then if I just mouse over one of these little links, it will actually tell me exactly what I have. So uh, let's finish the comments and I will tell you how long has this been taking? 14 minutes. Oh boy. <laughs> We're not going to get a lot done, but I'm showing you. I'm trying. I'm, I'm being more organized and my voice is better. Uh, so that is that comment. And then I have two more small comments uh, from another game, please. First one is you could organize your bags by mod 
and put them in your knapsack. This is a brilliant idea and I'm going to run with that. Uh, you can also have bags labeled for certain types of things like tools, etc. And I'm not sure if that means you can actually use a name tag on a bag. Uh, we can experiment with that, you know, where we actually put a name tag. In other mods, I found that if that bag, or was it something else, that if it's placed in the world and then picked back up, it loses. Was it, actually it might have been in this. But I think bags did the same thing as once I opened it or something. It lost that label. And then the final one by another game please says, you need to shift and hold your focus key to remove the focus while the wand is in your hand. And that was the thing. I didn't actually have my wand in my hand or a wand with a focus in it. And I wasn't using shift to remove that focus. Now the next question, and here's what I want to do really quick. I'm going to come way up here and I'm going to put all of these primal charms because obviously they're not doing anything for me now. I'll put them in this chest right here. Can I do this? Good. There we go. And there we go. Like so. I'm going to keep one so that as I use a wand it will recharge. Do these actually, I don't remember, uh, that, one's, that one's full so that doesn't matter. I'm going to put these wands in here as well for now. Um, so here is acting on another game's last recommendation. We're going to go make some bags. Now I haven't made name tags. They're not very hard to make, um, obviously. But uh, I do have some bags in here that we're going to be making. So I think it was in this table. Yes, uh, that's the upgrade. Uh, so we're going to go to this table. And as you can see, what I was thinking is, because witchery, witches are Halloween, so I was going to make an orange and a purple bag because there's actually lots of stuff. Now, the, the thing I was thinking about is, do I just want everything, at least one stack of whatever witchery in a bag, or is this more for the bigger stuff like the witchery? I guess the, I guess the mirror is witchery. Also, circle magic probably falls under that category. Um, blood would probably be a red, maybe a pink, you know, kind of stay red. And then thumbcraft, I was just gonna do black and a dark gray. So let's go ahead and make these bags up. So here's the black one. Here is a dark gray one, or just gray, I guess. Here can be our witchery bags. Like so. And then we'll go up to our other crafting table and grab these guys. So as you can see, I have four, four string, four ingots, and four planks. Will give us the upgrade for the bags. Oh, then it will stack. And then, if I remember right, it's just the bag and that. And now we got tier two. Now, there is no tier three and up. So, unfortunately, tier two is as big as they go. Which is kind of sad because, really, I mean, look, this is the equivalent of just a, I don't know, is that even a single chest? One, two, three, four. No, that's not even a single chest. Because I think a single chest is this. And then tier two really only gives you uh, a single chest. And if we look at that, I mean, we've seen that all the time. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. If we go look at a double, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then this would be a single. Is that Agatha? Hey, Agatha, how's it going? Thanks for coming. So this will help actually quite a bit because we'll have witchery stuff and at least our, our thongcraft stuff. Now, of course, we could do blood magic and our different things and we could actually have those. Here is our current problem. <laughs> this guy is full. However, we could do something like this, saying these two are witchery, uh, wand focus, and so I found also this pex curse focus. And the silver focus, or this shock focus, was also in that wand. Of course, I took the wand away. Um, 
But this is witchery. This is witchery. This is witchery. This is witchery. So we'll put all that stuff in the purple bag for right now. And we'll worry about it later. So I'm going to put that up there. Look how organized I'm getting. You guys should be so proud of me. This is so not like me uh, to be organized in any shape or form. Now, where did I put the focus bag? Oh, I put it in this one, didn't I? Uh, focus bag. So if we open that, we can drag our foci in there. Well, that actually holds quite a few. I don't even know if there's there's more there's not that many focuses so I guess you could have multiple yeah there's only one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven what is that focus wand focus is this saying it outputs Anywhere between, looks like 0. 0.5 to 2. 2.5 is in there too. Fizz per cast. Huh. I bet that uses the primal focuses. Only one? That's actually not terribly hard to make. I wonder what that means though. Because I'm seeing from 0.5 all the way up to 2.5 maybe this maybe this is the the spawner that another game please oh we also have these other that's blood magic I don't think oh wait this isn't these are thomcraft I don't know what autumn autumn my G is <laughs> And forbidden magic. Oh, that one sounds safe. Um, then we have. So these are all the thumbcrafts. So that's the one we have made, and it's actually in the wand. I forgot to take it out. We also have that one. Uh, we don't have that one. We have that one. We don't have. So I wonder this per cast. So they use, what are, I know what these do, the portable hole, I'm not sure what it is, but I do know that like with the Ignis, when you right click, it shoots flame out. And I'm thinking that Ignis 0.01 is the viz it uses per tick. So that means uh, in 10 game ticks, it uses one full viz. So if I have the 25, uh, that is two, is that 250? Or, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to be dumb. I can't think right now. Um, so that's kind of interesting. And here, well, there's that auto compound recharge focus. So this is what, uh, game from hell is saying to make according to my obsidian notes now where I have uh, the wand pedestal um, and that doesn't look too hard and that's definitely not too hard and that gives us two so, I mean, that's totally doable. I don't know if we want to work on making all these or just for the battle we're going to be doing with Leonard, which is one of my notes. Um, technically, everybody has told me we need to fight Leonard. And this is what I have so far and what I have checked off. In Defeat Leonard, I have Make Demon Bay Potions. We made, was it eight of those? Uh, and then Make Harming Potions, and I think we made or did we make four of the ones? 16? I don't know. Uh, but then I also have making the fire wand. It might actually be a scepter. Uh, I'm going to go add that in here. Dun, dun, dun. That's one pedestal. I clicked the wrong one. Uh, doo, 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 right here. 
make a fire wand. Okay, so um, that is good to know. And we also need to make, uh, so just so you know, here's my things to do. So if you guys want to tell me any additional things you think I should add to this, let me know and I will add. And I think we'll end with this. Sorry we didn't do anything more than make a bunch of bags. Uh, but my to-do list right now is the Blaze Staff Core, which is what uh, we're making. Uh, defeat Leonard, obviously. Make a super node, move nodes, organize my bags. Uh, the Viz Drop Spawner, uh, which I'm still not quite sure what that is since it sounds like it's something in my inventory that will charge wands on my belt or on my my toolbar and then the wand pedestal which that seems like it is dependent upon both the move nodes and making the super node because uh, it draws the viz from those um, so that is what we have right now in completed I have nothing um, I did want to point out that as far as the one focus I think I might have mentioned part of this but in order to remove uh, the one focus I have in my notes section uh, using shift plus the one focus key which is now F <laughs> I'll probably forget that uh, while holding the wand we can remove a focus from it um, and then the wand focus key using the wand focus key uh, holding down the wand focus key while holding the wand will actually pull up that radio menu so that's how I ended up getting this one out I keep middle clicking the door to try and open it um, I probably should keep the wand that actually has that Uh, da -da, wrong. Wait, there we go. Uh, dun dun. Which one has it? That one. Even has the red little tip. So, if I understand right, I don't know how many ticks are in a second, but if I right click this, you see it shoots flame, and you'll see that we used up two of our viz. Um, actually we could do this too now because we have a little room. We are going to be so organized and that's actually to another game please. Uh, when I mentioned, I, I said to his comment about, you know, I worry about giving you help because you forget about it and it gets lost. So I said also to help be more organized, I'm adding notes from my uh, from my comments in my videos to Obsidian Notes Vault, I will never be disorganized again. And then I did the laughing emoji because we know that's not 100% accurate. Uh, but I'm going to try. I'm going to make it so that all your valuable information does not get lost in the YouTube comments. So um, sorry we didn't do a whole lot. I mean, we did make a couple bags, found our focus bag. Uh, did a lot of talking. I'm sorry, this was mostly uh, talking about comments and maybe getting a little more organized. But hopefully you enjoyed anyway. And hopefully you like that I'm trying even harder and that my voice is back. Um, but uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, be sure to leave a thumbs up down below. Aside from that, comment, like, and subscribe. Click that little notification bell. Follow me on Twitter, check out my Discord and my other channels, and uh, don't forget to tell other people about my channel. Come check it out. If they like what they see, they can sub, and we can just grow the channel. And uh, that is it, my friends. Until next time, this might look cool. I'll be seeing you later. Bye. That's a waste of his, but bye.